Good morning, children. In the previous classes, we learned about the concepts of polynomials. Concepts based the polynomials. Today, let us discuss one more problem, two more problem, three more problems, four more problems on the basics of basic concepts of polynomials. Okay, one more very short answers. First problem, for what value of k minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial 3 of x, 3x square plus 4x plus 2k. Read the problem carefully. For what value of k? We have to find the value of k. Here given, minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial is given. Let, let p of x equal to 3x square plus 4x plus 2k. Now, minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial. Minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial. Minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial. So, P of minus 2 equal to 0. In the replace, P of minus 2 equal to 3 of minus 2 whole square plus 4 of minus 2 plus 2k equal to 0. 3 of minus 2 square means minus 2 into minus 2 into 4. 3 into 4 plus 4 to minus 8 plus 2k equal to 0. 3 fours 12, 12 minus into plus minus, so minus 8 plus 2k equal to 0. 4 plus 2k equal to 0, k equal to minus 2. k equal to minus 2, therefore the value of k equal to minus 2. Second problem, if 1 0 of 2x square minus 3x plus k is reciprocal to the other. Find the value of k. So, 1, 0 of polynomial is reciprocal to the other. Solution. Let alpha and 1 by alpha are the zeros of zeros of 2x square minus 3x plus k. Now find the value of k. We have to find the value of k. We know that we know that in a quadratic equation the product of two zeros the product of two zeros, product of two zeros equal to constant pair, constant pair, constant pair by the coefficient of x square, coefficient of of x square. So, the product of zeros, alpha 1 0, 1 by alpha another 0, multiply with alpha into 1 by alpha equal to constant term, constant term means k by coefficient of x square, 2, cancel, alpha alpha cancel, 1 equal to k by 2, so k equal to 2. So, the value of k equal to 2. Okay, now, let us learn short answers problems. First one, if alpha and beta are zeros of quadratic polynomial p of x equal to x square minus bracket of k plus 6 of x plus 2 of 2k minus 1. Then, find the value of k if alpha plus beta equal to alpha beta by 2. So, given 
p of x equal to x square minus k plus 6 of x plus 2 of 2k minus 1. So, it is in the form of p of x equal to standard form of quadratic polynomial x square plus bx plus c. So, here a equal to 1, b equal to minus of k plus 6, c equal to 2 of 2k minus 1. Given alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta means the sum of the sum of the roots alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a minus b by a minus of minus plus b means k plus 6 by a means 1 alpha plus beta equal to k plus 6 next the product of roots product of roots alpha beta equal to c by a c means multiply 2 into 2 4 k 2 into 1 2 minus 2 by a means 1 but alpha plus beta equal to alpha beta by 2 alpha beta by 2 alpha plus beta means k plus 6 equal to Alpha beta means 4k minus 2 by 2. Multiply 2k plus 12 equal to 4k minus 2. Okay. 4k minus 2k 12 plus 2. Okay. 2k equal to 14. K equal to 7 k equal to 7. What is the value of k? k equal to 7. Okay, now second problem. If the zeros of the polynomial x square plus px plus q are double in the value to the zeros of 2x square minus 5x minus 3. Find the value of p and q. We have to find the two values. The value is 1 and the value is the value is p and the value is q. So, listen. Let Alpha and beta are the zeros of zeros of 2x square minus 5x minus 3. Now 2 alpha and 2 beta are the zeros of zeros of x square plus px plus q because in the given problem now the sum of the roots so the sum of the roots of first one alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a minus of b means minus 5 by a a means 2 so 5 by 2 and the sum of the 2 alpha plus 2 beta. So, 2 is common. 2 of alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a minus p by a means 1. So, minus p. Alpha plus beta equal to 5 by 2. 2 of alpha plus beta equal to minus p. So, in the equation 1, Equation 1 multiply with 2 means 2 of alpha plus beta equal to 5 by 2 into 2. 2 to cancel. 2 of alpha plus beta equal to 5. 2 of alpha plus beta equal to minus p. So alpha plus beta equal to minus p equal to 5 2 of alpha plus beta equal to p equal to minus 5 
and the second product of roots product of roots means alpha beta equal to c by a c by a means minus 3 by a means 2 and the second one the product of roots 2 alpha into 2 beta 4 alpha beta equal to c by a q by 1 now it is the equation 2 equation 2 multiply with 4 4 means 4 alpha beta equal to minus 3 by 2 into 4 to 1 to 2 right minus 3 to 6 alpha beta equal to minus 3 by 2 4 alpha beta equal to q 4 alpha beta equal to minus 6 so 4 alpha beta 4 alpha beta the LHS are equal, RHS must be the equal. So, P equal to minus 6. So, the value of P equal to minus 5 and the value of P equal to minus 6. Okay, now, short answers. First problem, find the quadratic polynomial. Now, find the quadratic polynomial. So, whose zeros are in the ratio 2 is to 3. And their sum is 15. And their sum is 15 means, so the given the zeros ratios is given. Solution. Let the ratio of zeros is 2 x is to 3 x means alpha is beta is given that is alpha is beta equal to 2 x is to 3 x sum is given sum means the sum of the roots the sum of the roots sum of the roots alpha plus beta equal to 2x plus 3x equal to 15 15 2x plus 3x means 2x plus 3x means 5x 5x equal to 15 x equal to 3 so alpha equal to alpha equal to 2 into 3 equal to 6 beta equal to 3x means 3 into 3 9 now we are asking the question find the quadratic polynomial so the polynomial quadratic polynomial polynomial p of x equal to k of x square minus the sum of the roots alpha plus beta of x plus alpha beta where k is some constant k equal to 1 let us take k equal to 1 some constant so k of x square minus alpha plus beta the sum of the roots is given 15 x plus alpha beta alpha into beta 6 nines 6 nines 54 so k equal to 1 means x square minus 15 x plus 54 it is the required quadratic polynomial. Okay. Next short answer question e is second problem. If x plus a is a factor of two polynomials x square plus px plus q and x square plus mx plus n then prove that a equal to n minus q by n minus p. Okay. Prove that 
we have to prove a equal to n minus q by n minus p. X plus a is the common factor of two polynomials. X plus a is a factor of factor of x square plus p x plus q means in the x replace substitute minus a x equal to minus a is the zero of x square plus px plus q means minus a whole square plus p of minus a plus q equal to zero. So a square minus a p plus q equal to zero. In the same way, x equal to minus a is the zero of x square plus mx plus n means means minus a whole square plus m of minus a plus n equal to zero. So a square plus plus of minus means minus minus m a plus n equal to zero. Now compare the equations one and two. From one and two. From one and two. A square, a square common. So remaining minus a p plus. Q equal to minus m a m a plus n. Okay, here a a means minus a p plus m a equal to n minus q. A is the common. A common means the remaining. M minus p equal to n minus q. So a equal to n minus q by n minus p. We have to prove a equal to n minus q by n minus p. A equal to m n minus q by n minus p. Now let us discuss long answers. First problem is if the polynomial. 6x power of 4 plus 8x cube plus 17x square plus 21x plus 7 is divided by another polynomial 3x square plus 4x plus 1. Then what will be the quotient and remainder by using the polynomials of division algorithm of polynomials? First, 6x power of 4 plus 8x cube plus 17x square plus 21x plus 7 divided by 3x square plus 4x plus 1. Find the quotient first. 6 is given. 6x power of 4. What we have only 3x square multiplied with 2x square. 2x square. 2x square means. Six x power four, four two eight plus eight x into x square x cube. Two into one two plus two x into one x square into one x square. Now do the subtract minus cancel again minus plus eight x cube minus x square x cube cancel minus. Seventeen minus two means fifteen. X square plus twenty one x plus seven. Now three x square is there, but we want fifteen. Multiply with five. Five into three fifteen. X square into one x square. Five fours 
twenty plus twenty x five one five plus five. Again subtract plus minus both are cancel plus twenty one. Now minus twenty one. Twenty one ma minus twenty means x. Seven minus five means plus two. Now we are asking the question what? Find the quotient. So quotient quotient equal to two x squared plus five. Two x squared plus five. Now asking the remainder. Remainder equal to remainder equal to. X plus two. Okay, now second problem. Find other zeros of the polynomial two x square of four minus three x cube minus five x square plus nine x minus three. If it is given that two of its zeros root three and minus root three respectively. Okay, so the given let. P of x equal to two x power of four minus three x cube minus five x square plus nine x minus three. So what is the degree of the given polynomial x power of four? Find other two zeros. Already two zeros are given root three and minus root three. Find the the remaining two zeros. So root three and Minus root three are the zeros of zeros of p of x. So x minus root three and x plus root three are the factors of factors of p of x. Factors means multiply these two factors, we will get one quadratic polynomial. So a plus b into a minus b multiply with a into a square x square minus root three into root three three is the factor of factor of p of x. So x square minus three is the factor of p of x means by the division algorithm of polynomials. 2x power of 4 minus 3x cube minus 5x square plus 9x minus 3 must be divisible by the x square minus 3. So x square minus 3, 2x power of 4 minus 3x cube minus 5x square plus 9x minus 3. First multiply x square x power of four is there. Multiply with two x square. Two into one two two x square into x square x power of four. Next two three six minus six x square. Now plus is there means change the same signs minus plus is there means signs change the symbol signs. So the remaining is minus three x cube plus x square plus nine x. Now minus three x cube is there now. Multiply with minus three x. Minus three into one minus three x square into x x cube minus into minus plus. Three into three nine x. So change the signs. Minus is there means plus. Plus is there means minus. So both are cancel. The remaining is x square minus three. Now multiply with plus one. One means x square minus three. So both are cancel. So the remainder is zero. So what is the quotient? Two x square minus three x plus one. We will get two zeros by using the quotient. Multiply first and last. 
टू एक्स स्क्वेर सो माइनस टू एक्स माइनस एक्स टू एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस टू एक्स माइनस एक्स प्लस वन के टू एक्स कामन एक्स माइनस वन माइनस वन कामन एक्स माइनस वन सो टू एक्स माइनस वन एक्स माइनस वन आर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ पी ऑफ एक्स आर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ पी ऑफ एक्स सो एक्स इक्वल टू वन बाई टू एंड वन आर द आर द टू जीरोस Okay, x equal to one by two and one are the other two zeros. So the two zeros root three and minus root three are the two zeros and the remaining two zeros one by two and one. 